Welcome to Tectonic Nights channel. First problem is immediate food delivery. We are given a data frame with the following columns. Delivery ID, customer ID, order date, customer preferred delivery date. Our task is to calculate the percentage of immediate orders rounded to two decimal places. An order is considered immediate if the customer's preferred delivery date matches the order date. Let's dive in. Here's an example data frame. We'll begin by adding a new column is immediate where we check if the order date is equal to the customer preferred delivery date. Next we can calculate the percentage of immediate orders by using the mean function in pandas. This will give us the proportion of true values in the is immediate column. Next we round the result to two decimal places using round method. Lastly, we create a new data frame containing this calculated percentage. Next problem is ads performance. We are provided with a data frame containing following columns. Ad ID, user ID, action, which is an enum type with values clicked, viewed and ignored. Our task is to calculate the click through rate for each ad. The click-through rate is defined as follows. The resulting click-through rate should be rounded to two decimal places. The final result should be ordered by click-through rate in descending order and by add ID in ascending order in case of a tie. Here's an example data frame. To calculate the click-through rate for each add ID, We'll group the records by add ID and count how many times each action happens. We can use value counts method here, which simply counts how often each unique value appears in a series and gives us a new series with those counts. Now, if you look at the result, you will notice a multi index data frame. To simplify this, you can collapse the hierarchical indexing into a regular columns using unstack method. Basically, the unstack method converts the multi-level index into columns, reshaping the data frame from a multi-dimensional structure to a simpler flat structure. Next, we'll calculate the click-through rate by performing element-wise operations. We'll chain few steps together. First, we use fill NA to replace any missing values with zero. Round the decimal values to two places. Reset the index of data frame to remove grouping. Rename the click through rate column. And finally, sort the values as specified in the problem. That is, sort CTR in descending order first and then add ID in ascending order. Final problem is count salary categories. We are provided with a data frame containing following columns, account ID and income. Our task is to calculate number of accounts in each salary category. Low salary category is for salary strictly less than 20,000. Average salary for salaries in the inclusive range of 20,000 to 50,000. And high salary category for salaries strictly greater than 50,000. Here's an example data frame. We'll use cut method in pandas to segment our data into three categories. We are given two numbers, 20,000 and 50,000. These will be our edges for the bins. The number of categories we'll end up with is one less than number of bin edges. So if we only have two bin edges, we'll get just one category. We need three categories. So we'll add a couple of extra bin edges. We'll add zero as the lower bound, that is the start of the range, and infinity as the upper bound, that's the end of the range. Now with four bin edges, we'll have exactly three categories. By default, the right end of each range is included. That means if a salary is exactly 20,000, it will fall into low salary category and not average salary category. To fix this, we can set right equal to false, which makes the right end exclusive. This way, if the salary is 20,000, it will fall into average salary category. Now for the upper bound, 
that is 50,000, we want it to be inclusive for the average salary category. To do this, we will update the bin edge to 50,001. We will fall into average category while values greater than 50,000 will fall into high salary category. Now that we got our bins sorted, we can label them. Finally, to get the count of values in each salary category, we can use the value counts method on the salary category column. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos in Pandas Lead Code playlist. See you in the next one.